Hello everybody and welcome to another little Photoshop tip video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make better shadows. Shadows are all the rage right now. Tactility is creeping its way back into interfaces around the world. So let's have a talk about how we can make better shadows. So what I got for you here is a neat little squircle. And uh, we all know that we can make shadows in Photoshop by using blending options and then having them, you know, drop a shadow. And that's all good and dandy, and for some purposes that shadow might be perfectly fine, right? We can change some of the preferences for it, we can drop a big soft shadow so the object looks like it's further away from the background. But one thing that sometimes makes better shadows is if you copy the shape that you're trying to make shadows with and you make it dark. And now we have a dark version of the shape underneath it. And what I do is I go up to my filters menu, I convert it for smart filters, and then I apply a Gaussian blur. Now I really like Gaussian blurs, I think they're fantastic, and they create a wonderful soft image. And maybe you'll go with something like, I don't know, 50 in the radius of pixels. And now you have a separate layer that you can move around, it's blurry, and, um, and you can scale down the opacity of that layer to maybe 20% or 30%. And you can then apply different sets of shadows. In real life, when something drops a shadow, it's not just a single shadow, because real life rarely has just one source of light. So if you wanna create better shadows or more realistic shadows, what you need to do is kind of mimic real life and play around with the idea of there possibly being multiple sources of light, right? And uh, maybe there's one big soft light that casts this Gaussian blur shadow. Uh, and maybe there's a sharper, different light that casts an actual drop shadow and you can combine those two things uh, to create a little more of a realistic look, right? So there might be like an immediate shadow right underneath it. Maybe there's even like a bigger, softer Gaussian blur behind this. You can do that even bigger. Let's just scale it up a little bit. It's very soft now. It will just bring down the opacity a little bit on that thing there. So that creates a completely different space, right? You can see it's kind of casting a shadow. Maybe it's casting it to one side like that. So this creates this idea of realism. And to make this completely more realistic, what you probably want is also just kind of casting some light on the actual object. You can do that by just doing something like that, right? So now we have a situation where there's obviously some light coming from above and it's dropping an immediate shadow, a smaller shadow, right underneath the, uh, the shape, uh, which is this one here, using layer styles. And then there's a shadow underneath that using a smart object, uh, Gaussian blur, uh, same size, a 50 pixel radius. And then there's a much softer, larger version of it, also using a Gaussian blur, just to kind of create an ambience. And I think this combination of shadows creates much better shadows, much more realistically looking shadows, if that's what you're after. So that is how you make better shadows in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.